So when it comes to dialogue, particularly with teenagers, it's really important to use what I call an AID model, A-I-D. First of all, find a time where it's quite calm, maybe the following day. And then it's about asking a question. When you ask the question and say something along the lines of, do you mind if we have a conversation about yesterday? Immediately, if they say yes, they're going to be engaging with their listening skills. At the time of the conflict, you cannot give advice or guidance. Their fight, flight, flock and freeze, your know, automatic responses are happening and therefore they are less focused and less able to give a more insightful answer. Once you have your teenager's ear, or anybody's ear for that matter, we can then start asking the question saying, do you recall the action that took place? Be specific. You did this at this time. That's where it pauses. The next part is the, the impact, the I. The impact can be, how you felt. Focus on how you felt about the action. Never say how the other person felt or what their intention was. It's all about you at this point and it's because it's from your perspective they can't argue with it. Finally the D, the difference. What would you want to see difference? Quite often, when a teenager or somebody else you've had some conflict with, they listen to the action, they then understand the impact it had on you, quite often they will turn around and apologize or say what they're gonna do different in the future.